Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope that everybody had a great Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday season. Um, so in today's video I wanted to do a movie review on the Barbie movie and um, back in the summer I made a review but I, I reviewed it and I didn't even see it. I was just judging it. <laughs> <laughs> by looking at the sorry guys but I'm just like so unserious but um I made a review back in the summer without actually watching the movie because I just looked at the trailer and I was, I was like um this probably looks kind of goofy so I didn't see it but I actually saw it now and I'm impressed so anyways guys I had to wipe off I had on eyelash glue um, because I had on eyelashes yesterday, but anyways, so, yeah, I thought the movie was brilliant, and I'm going to tell you guys why. So, I'm trying to think of, like, a comparison of what I can compare this film to. Um, I don't think I've seen anything quite like, uh, the movie, but, so, for one, I think that it was a little bit mismarketed because it's not a kid's movie it's i think it's rated like pg-13 um but i i still think it's probably for maybe even an older teen i don't know but like i seen people complaining in the summertime like that the movie seemed mid like mismatched or the storylines didn't fit together but it's a reason why it's like that and but if anyone was ever wondering what philosophy is then watch the barbie movie because the whole movie is basically a uh, philosophy 101 um like it's basically a philosophy like core concept like if you were learning like um an ideology and a philosophy class that whole movie would be one ideology, which is so cool. Well, I wouldn't really use the term ideology. It's just basically philosophy um, concepts all throughout the movie. And what you see um, as they, well, I don't want to give away the movie, but like when they go to the Barbie land and then they switch to the real world when they're in Los Angeles, those are basically like paradigms which are world views basically barbie is like you can probably say like barbie land would be like the realm of perfection and and i guess like the overall moral of the movie would probably be like even if you know one seeks perfection it's just impossible and and basically like a positive mindset is what's perfect in the world i guess and like another reason why i found the movie to be impressive is that um it like made it known that it was like a duality of like the real world and then barbie land because like the main character well not barbie but like the person that like the the designer of the the Barbie like the designer of the doll in the movie like um like the two worlds came together because of imagination so like just think about it when we play with a doll we're using our imagination and usually when we play with like Barbie it's like a happy thing so I just thought that that was fascinating. Um, and I seen some people that said they didn't like the movie and they walked out of it like in the summertime. And I can kind of see why they wouldn't like it. I personally like it. But I guess there's certain like topics in the movie that can make some people uncomfortable. And usually a lot of philosoph philosophical concepts do that. And I would also say that it was like an emotionally vulnerable movie because the the main character cried a lot like like it was an emotional thing and a lot of like realization moments.
bye for now guys see you in my next video